welcome back to Gaming and Goons, another episode of Rambling On. So today we've got the um, squad, I think. Yeah, we do. <laughs> I see. <laughs> um, and today, well, first of all, check on how everyone's doing. Our lockdown has been extended for probably another more one more week or two weeks ago. I've lost all track of time now. <laughs> Ten months. Ten months. Okay, that's probably well. You'll get it as good as any. So, how's everyone doing? <laughs> Bored. It's okay. It's not too bad. It's not that's too good. bad. Still, still alive, so that's good. That's good. I've grown still a alive. Jafar moustache. So, like a beard, and it looks like Jafar. Like the Disney villain. I haven't had my hair cut, I haven't even had a beard shave, literally. I just... I might. It's it's all over everywhere. So you look like Joel in The Last of Us, one. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Which I actually do actually at the moment. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just thought about it. Yeah, I actually do. You heard it here first. Santos is Joel. <laughs> I am Joel. Start becoming. Start becoming. And then the the world will start also so start becoming. A, uh, <laughs> and then. <laughs> Then I'm the main character. I'm Joel, so I'm the main nice. character. You can't die for the main character. That's plot reasons. Well, that's, <laughs> that's a lie, though. Lee. You know that. I know. <laughs> um, talking of being stuck inside, um, Sony. Apart from, I still think it's maybe it's controversial. I know how much Santa's liked Farming Simulator, but the controversial decision to release that as the last novice game. <laughs> today oh today's game sorry um, no no it's today's the release yeah today's the release sorry yeah this month's they released it today this month's game they decided to release some brand new games on PS Now uh, which is if people aren't aware PS Now is like a streaming service where you pay a bit like Netflix where you pay um, it's eight ninety nine at the moment um, for a month and then you get to play games so some of them you do have to download um, but other games you can just stream um, for a period of time and you don't have to basically buy the game or, or rent it. So you don't own it for a, a really long time but you own it for like a, a period. Basically like yeah, an I online think, blockbuster. I think, I think it's okay. Yeah. I think it's okay but I don't think you can get the trophy. Like you, they don't have any trophy um, or at least you don't get it isn't it? Trophies. Well, I don't know. I'll have to check on that, to be honest. Because I think that would put people off if they didn't get trophies. I don't know. Some people are there for the game, though. They're not there yeah. for the True. trophy. A trophy hunters, yeah, I understand. But like, if you're not a trophy hunter, I wouldn't mm -hmm. get, if I, like me, I, if I wasn't a trophy hunter, I wouldn't care less. But at the moment, I am a trophy hunter. <laughs> I am a trophy hunter. That's why I've been buying all the old games back, like Resident Evil and everything like that. I've tr I'm getting it, trying to make sure that I get it. Literally, recently, just finished Resident Evil Six, got platinum on that. Then found out I can't get platinum on this Resident Evil Revelation. So yeah, great time. I, I think. I, I think know, trophies. Trophies I think can be deep alone. down. Everyone, I think deep down, everyone is a trophy hunter. So not every Just game has trophies. Yeah, deep down everyone is a trophy hunter, really. Like, you get that satisf sat satisfaction when you find a trophy that just pops up on the screen because you did something stupid or died hundred to hundred time. <laughs> or in Santos' case, get squashed by a boulder yeah. and die for the oh. very first time in Resident Evil. Oh, yeah, my God, that yeah, very yeah. first time. You had to bring that back up. You had to bring that The very first time, though. That's crazy. I got a trophy. Like I had that game on the PS4 for over two years now, and yeah, that was yeah. my trophy. That like I wish I had been killed by a hunter, by the T virus, even by a zombie. But no, a bloody boulder rolls over me. And that, that's your death. <laughs> just just to give you information, Harris, on the other hand, his first trophy. Guess which one? Oh, first trophy. First trophy, no, first trophy was the Resident Evil. 
Oh, oh die straight away. Oh dear, that's the hell. <laughs> die straight away. Yeah, Harris died. I was talking to Harris. He was just like, I got really scared, and then um, I, 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 um, I walked away from it. And I was like, it's not even that scary at the beginning. He was like, I got scared. <laughs> Which one? Right, Resident Evil Seven scary. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> the crows at the beginning scared me on that one. <laughs> <laughs> the crow is right at the beginning where yeah. they're, they're at that point. Maybe yeah. jump, put me on edge for the next <laughs> attempt to the house. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even that far <laughs> in the game. What was that? That's 10 seconds in. <laughs> but, to, but to be honest, like, um, going back to PS Now, they've released some uh, new games on. So, like, the, the latest games this month are Rainbow Siege. Um, Evil Within 2 there's a game called Get Even which is like a mercenary first person shooter kind of game and it's like dark so bits in a torch Get Even Get Even looks cool to be honest yeah. um, I haven't played yeah. it Spider-Man uh, Just Cause which, which one? one? which one? Uh, the, new, the new Marvel Spider-Man the latest Insomniac game. Insomniac okay. Spider-Man uh, Just Cause 4, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and Control. Also, that's like a lot of game that they're not like super old. Probably like one, one or two years old. Well, that's it. In, in Controls, actually, um, it it kind of got swept under the under like the, all the other games. But that game's really good. It's like which one? Um, con- Control. Control. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. It meant to be really good. I haven't played it yet, of course, but um, they're the sort of games they're releasing this month, which are honestly, to be honest, really good for PlayStation now because they don't often. They're like AAA games aren't always as good. Yeah, like especially like now nowadays, when you know, those are people not doing anything. Imagine that having that. Are you watching the gameplay? <laughs> oh no, sorry, that's my um give me a second. Do apologize about this game just second. What's that? Something so Sorry, yeah, it was my um it was my uh, controller. A controller, yeah. Yeah, it's playing <laughs> for sound for the control. You apologize about that. <laughs> Samus is distracted playing games at the same time. As we do. Resident Evil, more precise. Well, yeah, true. <laughs> what, was, what was Wong saying? What did I say? I don't know. What did I say? Oh, um, you're talking about the, the game being quite this, like good for this. this. Literally, what Wong just done is the, it's that instant again when we were doing our thing for our, our, uh, our, our, for, our uh, uh, for our chat for our channel. <laughs> Hi, my name is Wong. <laughs> Start all over again. We didn't say my name's Wong. <laughs> <laughs> I am Lee. <laughs> so much conviction that you generally believed it for the next 10 minutes <laughs> and about the and five times you said it well watch yeah the games are quite good this month to be honest on on now like to be honest if i was seeing this list for the first time so i i've i've had ps now on like the trial version and i had it at christmas time after we went to egx we won them. Oh yeah, you won on the EGX, didn't trials. you? Yeah, yeah, we won the free. Was it good? At the time, the games weren't. There wasn't enough games for me to like that I would play myself, so it wasn't really worth it for me. I mean, it's enough games on it to play, but there wasn't yeah. any games I personally would play. that you like. Yeah, yeah, but now there is, and and now I'd consider buying it just to try out of out of this one. I've got Tomb Raider, but I'd, I I would. What would you, what would you try? What would... Control, uh, get even, then they've also got, um, see what else they've got, I'd probably play Rainbow Siege to be honest, or at least try it out. I probably would try it out. Yeah, I mean it's free. Well, once you pay the £8 for the month. 
<laughs> yeah, but it's only eight. If you think about it, it's really. only eight pound. Like obviously you, you're already doing your like Netflix when people have like yeah, Disney Pass and people have those other things. Eight pound that you can pay for a whole month. It's not. It's much. not a huge amount, is it really? If you can think of well, how much is that a yeah. game? Yeah, especially two pound a game for some. Especially for some people that can finish the game very, very quickly as well. So, so like, Resident Evil Two, you, you, three, sorry. Yeah, but even <laughs> like every every week that you finish one game, I still quick. And... That's four games already, and then yeah, so, yeah. So obviously those games that you're playing, even those, it's not going to be one pound for from the store. So that it's definitely kind of. Nah, it's definitely worth it. Worth it, but, but I don't. I whether don't... you got the time or not, that's a different story. Yeah, true. But I don't see that many people having PS now, as far as I'm aware. I don't know if it's going to have like a real takeoff, unlike Netflix has, or. I, I think so. It just, I think, it's just matter of time. Of like how is you know because obviously now that you it just okay just this week this or this month that I got those good game and obviously you know the more and more that you can add on it just kind of build up with like a massive library of. Yeah, different games. Just take some time for it to to build up into having a huge library, and once they get all the licensing and stuff. I mean, they have some good games on there as well. Oh, do you have Primal? Do you remember Primal used to be a PS2 game, and they ported it for they remade it for PS3. Um, it wasn't really a remake; it was just a port, to be honest. But that was quite a good, good game. Had like a little gargoyle creature with the was green orb. Primal, done with the gargoyle and yeah, like yeah. masks and stuff. Yeah, that's the one. Used to be on PS One or PS Two, and then they ported it for PS Three. I think I had to play it once, once or twice. I can't remember now. It was quite a weird game. It was a good game. Primal, that's going to bother me now. Primal, a little gargoyle creature. You'll remember it if you see it. Trust me. Do you remember a, a girl with claws? Yeah, yeah, that's her. Uh, that's her. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm pick, picking claws. the same game. That's fine. You may have claws, you've got like a weird gargoyle creature. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember that game. They've got Revelations 2 on it, actually. Sanos. I want someone to play Revelations! I know, not the, sec- not the first well... one, just the second one. <laughs> I've been on my team. I've been closing yeah. that game, is she? Isn't she? Yeah, the second so, yeah. the second one has got Claire and Barry in it. Yeah, Barry. Oh yes, I played the first Revelations on the the 3DS. Uh, it's very yeah. tough. Yes, yeah, the 3DS. Two. I don't know yeah, about but, 3DS. But I, I, need, I need someone. I need someone to play it on uh, the PS version. Okay, the end boss is very tough though. Just just to warn you. Yeah, the final boss is really tough. Learn the dodge. We played this before Thanos. Like we played together. But I think it's on the Xbox. We I think don't. we played. Yeah, we played the one on Xbox. Yeah, Obviously, we got it on Xbox. Don't own a, well, I do own an Xbox. So I just don't play. Yeah, Crossplay is not allowed. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Well, not yet. That will happen soon, I reckon. You'll get crossplay most soon. Games. When the PlayStation Five in Xbox. Yeah. I hope and they do crossplay. Because it's quite cool. I mean, some already they're doing it. Call of Duty is already doing it. Some games already kind of. Some VR games do it as well. Dead yeah. by Daylight's doing it. Oh, they've got some good ones in here. They've got uh, a couple of remakes as well. So, now, is any um, talking of remakes? What's your compared to the original? What's your like worst and favorite remake? That you played, and the reasons why. Worst and favorite. 
Yeah, so worst. Hey, go on. I would probably say my favorite. Well, my favorite overall was Resident Evil. Look, it's, it's definitely going to be Resident which Evil. One? But which Resident Evil oh, am I talking yeah. about, though? In my opinion, I reckon the best one was Resident Evil and Resident Evil Remake. Okay. Yeah. That's the first Not the one, right? second one or the third one. Like, I enjoyed yeah, yeah. those games. Don't get me wrong and everything like that. But, but the thing is that I... How do you put this? I, I think the first one had more... Like when they were, when they made the first one, it was such a big hit, and everything like that. Like the um, how like the cheesy lines and everything like made it really good and it, like make the well, game what it was and everything like that. There, that was still a cheesy line. Um, <laughs> of course, it was still a cheesy line, but <laughs> it was, in my opinion, it was one it, like the first one. Like it had so many like good stuff into it as in like when it first came out like as a zombie game like the graphics wasn't the best at all obviously because number one it's ps1 obviously it's not going to be as good as we think it would have been but like the gameplay of it was just for ps1 it was really smooth the storyline was very good okay yeah like we said cheesy lines (laughs) not the best but (laughs) When they made the remake, I was just like, how are they going to do this? Like, it was completely different to what I imagined it would be when I played it. Like, there were times where I'm just like, compared to the original one where you get the full mask in the house, like, to go into the next area. But in this one, you get the full mask to go and unlock something to go to the next area, which was something that I didn't expect. And adding new type zombies into the game and like getting all the original ones as in like plant, the, the big plant in the, uh, in that plant boss room, um, oh, the, yeah, yeah. Uh, massive snake, <laughs> yeah. uh, no. tyrant version one, two, and yeah, version one and two, which is the first one. If you hit the one that just walks around normally, and the second one for final rooftop battle, that's if you say if you do the saving part. If you don't save, you just go away. But it was a game that I started my Resident Evil career with, and you know, it brings so much memories. And for it to make mm-hmm. make a comeback with such a good. A good development into it, how they change all the graphics and everything like that, and obviously it brings bad memories. And obviously, particularly one bad memory, but let's not get into that. It was said earlier. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Oh, the boulder. <laughs> oh, no. But um, no. Other, other than other than that, um, other than that, I mean, Resident Evil Two, they done good as well. But how do I? How how, how would you put this? Like these games were made for speed running, and in my opinion, Resident Evil 1 would have been a harder speed run than Resident Evil 2 and 3. Like, right now. Like, well, so I like, think... Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I don't know if you guys, play, you guys played Resident Evil 3. I wouldn't say it's my worst, but I wasn't really, really happy with it, put it that I way. was the first Resident Evil I played. So I wasn't quite happy. The reason why I wasn't happy with, with it was number one, the gameplay ended up being quite easy, as I had explained to Wong and uh, uh, and Lee uh, earlier when we were playing a different game online together. That I had managed to complete the game a second time, getting every single trophy. Mm-hmm. So and that is within like a day, like like added together I in think, the game. I think that's so it took sixteen hours. Yeah, I think that's a common criticism online as well. That like the, the like people really like the gameplay for Resident Evil Three, but they hate how short it was, and they think there's a, a I don't want to spot it for Grum, but there's a lot of bits that were um, <laughs> supposedly cut from the original. There was, and they don't know. There was. 
the game was supposed to like the original game it was supposed to last a few hours yeah like if you play it properly not speed run it would take at least four to maybe five hours yeah yeah like like i know and... Real free the original wasn't even a, a really long game but i think it was just it, it's a short game anyway and then they whether they cut bits out or they didn't have time and it's we added in later with dlc or stuff i, I think people uh, no. felt a bit I was talking to I was talking to Wong about this part, and that was that in Resident Evil Three, the original one, when you started a game, you chose difficulty, and then you chose puzzle difficulty. Oh, did you? Who in this one, there was only two puzzles the most in the whole thing. Uh, like, but... and they were right at the beginning, like where Grant was. So it's going in, back to in, the in the survival. walkthrough. If you go on our channel, so it's going back to the survival. So I'm at the sewers now yeah yeah right, i think that's it one, like you've, got no, you've literally got no more puzzles to solve oh, the whole game okay that's you interesting don't... oh you there's don't one more the fun for grant yeah, that's a toy i will go on to it where's the normal puzzle Grant was looking was like where's my pu where's my puzzle where's my puzzles going? i started oh, the world quick i picked up all those gems <laughs> the puzzle was what made the game really interesting because you could spend time there like if if you had the game originally and like you didn't have any walkthroughs back in the days and everything like that and you had to solve it yourself and there's there were times where you could be on that puzzle for like 10 minutes and then you just be like okay actually no i, don't, I can do it this way now and like that was the fun in it <laughs> you can't like stuck on a puzzle but like, yeah. but that's the same for any game you say that but that's it like that's the same for any game now. You can just pick up a phone and just go, yeah, I'm just Google how to do this bit. Yeah. Totally so, so. I mean, yeah, but it's different it because obviously, like, it's a horror game. Like, for example, if you, you know, Skyrim got, got puzzle, got puzzle as well. You know, you need to solve it. But, like, it, won't, it didn't bring you because it's not horror. Like, you know, it's like Resident Evil. At some point, you feel like, oh, like come on, like he's chasing you. Like once you can't get out, and then something happens, like you got this sort of like a feelings of yes, things happen, and, or something chasing you, or something like this. So intensity. Yeah. 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 The suspense is what the word I'm looking for. Uh, okay, well, I understand yeah. that, isn't it? I think it does echo a lot of like public thoughts. Um, anyone else? What about Grant and? Wonk. Mine's a bit random. Like, uh, I was thinking of another game, like Crash Bandicoot. Originally, I'm very fond of of the originals. I played them, you know, played them to death. And I think the remakes did a very good job of making them faithfully. Like the remakes are very, they're new, but they're true to the originals. Um, the only thing I didn't like in the remakes, or particularly one and two, was the, the time trial aspect. Oh, because they in, didn't they? yes, that 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 was originally a feature in the third game, the Crash Bandicoot. But I I, I think that game was made in mind with time trial, or it was developed with time trials in mind. Whereas mm -hmm. the first Crash Bandicoot and, and number two were not. So you're literally trying to speed run through levels with precision platforming, you know, yeah. without the time trial aspect in mind. And I think that that made it quite difficult for the trophy, anyway. Yeah, it's very difficult. I, yeah, I haven't got the um, so I played Crash Bandicoot as well, and I I, I agree with Grant there. I think that the the game was faithful um, in terms of like levels and stuff. They haven't really re. It's, it was more like a, a it, it was remastered because of the graphics, so they had to remake it. But the levels were basically exactly the same. Um, but then, of course, in the in the first one, there's like one of the favorite levels is. Um, a road to nowhere. It's basically this bridge, and you've got such precision yep. on it. I think you guys are seeing me attempt attempt the speed run of this. Um, and and normally it's so hard to do. Like in the in the original PS One, like people would just jump on the rope and walk along the rope because it was easier. <laughs> um, but but now you can't. You can jump on the rope, but you can't walk along it. Um, and obviously they. They've gone. Yeah, let's add a time trial to it, and not really tested the time trial aspect. So it's I, I did it, but it was tight and frustrating. It was very tough. So I, mean, I agree with you on that one. But I think in well, 
weirdly, the, the, the thing I like about Crash Bandicoot 1 is the mechanical platforming. Like, you jump, you know, precisely and very specifically. And when you add a, a, you know, a, a timed element to that, you can't rush the game. You die, like, 50 times before you complete the level. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so not the level, the, the time trial mission. But yeah, for me, that that was definitely a, a very difficult platinum trophy. Yeah, it's difficult, a difficult platinum trophy, but I don't think it ruined the game for me because I can just like... Oh, it did, the... didn't ruin the game. No, no. Well, it added say. a complexity, put it that way. Negative complexity. <laughs> but actually, to say that, it, you know, talking about remakes... I, I, again, it's costing me my back probably about five or six years, maybe a bit more. Um, but they remade Tomb Raider One for the 20th anniversary. No, the 10th anniversary. Well, anyhow, the, the game was called Tomb Raider Anniversary, and it was a. See, this is my mind. It was a remake, but more of a remastering. It built on the levels and improved them. Ah, okay. In my in my mind, I felt. And less polygon, Lara. Um, yes, a slightly less pokey lot, Lara. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put it that way. But it's still, uh, still not round. Oh, uh, this is PS PS two. This is PS two. This is PS two. Possibly, yeah. It's possibly possibly end of PS 2s life or start of PS 3s life. Let me check this. I think I it's think longer it longer than both. I think it was. I think it was on both. So I think it was longer than ground four. But so to answer qu answer Wong's question, uh, mm -hmm. yes and no. <laughs> okay, apologies. It was released on the first June two thousand seven, so actually thirteen oh, wow. years ago. So wow. yes, I am slightly um, <laughs> underestimating that one. It, it fell closer, however. <laughs> the point still stands. It was a very good remake in the sense that it it built on the original. In more ways, it wasn't just a standard, you know, port, as it were. It took the the feel of the first game, or the original, as it were, and, and kind of like built a better game out of it. I felt. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. a good remake. That's good. What about Wong? Anything remake you liked or hated or? See, I'm. I'm not. I'm not like a big fan of doing remake stuff like I don't buy any remake games because I think just to be honest like I don't see the point of doing that obviously I can see like for example like Resident Evil I can see the point because they yes they re remake that but they completely change the gameplay you see what I'm saying? Because obviously yeah. back there it was like, you know, it was you had to spin, you know, you can spin 360 and then to walk that kind of like I, I can't remember what have you called those type of walk. And then some games it's like yes, you just only improving the graphics, which is great. And some of the, the, the some most of the things that is kind of similar. I mean, I don't see the point of doing this. Obviously, you know, you know, in grant kind of ways, like bring back memories and all this stuff that you can play on the things. But I just really don't see the point of having like remake game. But obviously, nowadays it seems like games super popular. People can't remake all those classic games. Um, I'm still, I mean, like, I guess if one thing I'm looking forward to it, if they do make a remake, that I will get it. That will be Metal Gear. Okay. Um, any of those into, like, nowadays. But would because, you want, like, would you want a remake or a remaster? Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, if they re. Well, let's say they let's say they if they remake, if they remake into now the Metal Gear like you know, like the peace peace peacekeeper peace walker and all those different things like now, like a third person is like a, that kind of gameplay, 
Okay. That will get me interesting. But if if it like just making the graphics better, but everything is still the same. See, I don't see the point. Obviously, I know that back there they. I'm, I don't know how long. I think I even I bought the game. Actually, I bought um, one. They got one two make one two three remake on Xbox three sixty. Um, or is it just two and three? I can't remember. I bought that. Um, it just basically is literally just remake. It's just better graphics. Um, yeah. Okay. It's mo- most of them. They are the same. Which is that's. I guess after that I was like, I don't. I'm not really feeling those. If only improving the graphics. Yeah, you're not. I don't. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. though. I understand what you're saying. But we'll see. You know. I'm sure people will kind of disagree with me. (laughs) But I I think it's it's a fair point, Max. I think. I mean, end of the day, everyone's got their own opinion on this. Like. If you don't like it, then you don't like it. They're not going to stop you from not liking it. Is yeah. no, but it's no, your no. own opinion, and not many people. Yeah, like just one you said, not many people like the thing that you say, but it's what you think, isn't it? Yeah, it's a fair point, yeah. and and I, I do think there is there is an element of like uh, I I don't mind a remake or, or not not well, not necessarily a remake, but like a of some of the old games like Crash Bandicoot that should have been a remake, and it was a remake. Um, same for Spyro. Um, but but then there's some other games I think I wouldn't want it to be remade. I'd rather them try and make some brand new games. Something new. Yeah. yeah. Something different and new. Yeah. One game, in my opinion, they should never remake and leave it the same as the Illware has. Sorry, back into the horror element again. <laughs> One game that should never, ever change and keep everything that they have. And that is Silent Hill. Uh, they yeah. beat me to it then. Oh, yeah. In my opinion, it was so horrifying. Like, like I didn't start off playing number one, like, because I didn't actually know about Silent Hill until Silent Hill Three. That's quite late. So okay, back then I already had PlayStation Two, so I bought um, Silent Hill Two when it came out. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, well, when it when it happened. Uh, when uh, Dad was like, "What's this game?" I was like, "It's a horror game. You'll probably like it." So he was like, "Okay, I'll just buy it." <laughs> so there's me um, being scared as I, I was no, uh, a little was boy. Um, <laughs> um, Dad was playing it, and then there was a certain scene that I could never ever get out of my head, only because it was so early on in the game. Oh, like I just oh, never. Yeah. Not, not see, I'm not going to say it because I'm not too good for, for right now, but. I think everyone knows what happens in that scene on Res- if you have played Silent Hill 2. If you haven't, don't okay, search it up. Very I think it involves a locker but, and something that's traumatising and very and very not safe for work. Yes. So, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll just say, just um, out of your own discretion, please, you can watch it, but it might leave you traumatised a little and bit. don't watch it but, if you're under the age of 18. It's not just that, it's just the way of the gameplay style, like how it was. It's kind of like it, it, the thing was that the stuff that you pick up, the story element to it, like the weapons that they have into it, and the enemies. It's the enemies that make certain games, like Resident Evil zombies, and then in um, Silent Hill, the Pyramid Head is what made the game. Yeah. yeah. Everyone remembers the pyramid head. Well, like he... when you talk about Silent Hill, except for the fog right at the beginning, what else do you remember? Pyramid oh, head. Pyramid head. But I don't even—I don't even know if pyramid head was in the first one. I don't Not the first. I don't even remember. Mm. Was number it? two. Only in number two. Up. Yeah. But but like that's the one people remember, and that's the one that made it into the into the film the film version as well. Because he was such mm-hmm. a big boss. True. Yeah. It was such. <laughs> It was because there was different ways of winning at Silent Hill too. There was different wow. ways of beating it, like they had because they had compared to, to Resident Evil, where they only give you one ending in Silent Hill. By doing certain stuff within levels, you can achieve up to five or six different endings. Could be two goods, two bads, two normal ones, like. 
I remember like playing uh, Silent Hill four, three or four, and I done something, and the alien came and abducted me away, and that was it. Yeah, they, but that's the <laughs> joke in it. They always have a joke ending, like in Silent Hill Downpour. I think by accident I unlocked the joke ending and was like. But it's ending silly. <laughs> What's the like birthday it. cake ending? Yeah, yeah. Isn't that isn't the joke ending the one where they're There's two. The cake. Yeah, the birthday, birthday cake. cake. Yeah. Yeah. That's a joke ending. Oh, it has a, it has a super secret joke ending where it's your dog is basically mind controlling you in a computer simulation. <laughs> you know the dog? Yeah. I sat there. You walk in the room and the dog sat there on a computer. <laughs> So, so going, actually going on about um like like last week speed running and quick games and everything like that what is the fastest game that you've ever played fastest game yeah as in like the fast the quickest that you've ever completed a game because oh, me know. and Walt had this discussion the other day about a certain game that i think i haven't actually played it but you can actually complete the game within seconds what about you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you yeah. within and minutes. We have to be Well, yeah, and some other game within minutes as well. Yeah, I think in the game we have a few. Like at the beginning, like apparently in the game, there's this. Obviously, it's quite a. Uh, I think it's a 15 plus or something because it has drug references into it. So you take this pill that's supposed to make you happy all the time, but oh. the main character in the game yeah. doesn't eat it. And he goes on a journey where he has to find his inner self and what it is. But at the beginning of the game, it gives you a choice of eating the pill or not eating the pill. If you choose eat the pill, I think it just rolls credits and then uh, you finish the game. <laughs> <laughs> Speed run. Is it, isn't, that, so, isn't that like, was it don't be happy or something or something or not? How... We happy few. We happy, we happy few. few. That's the, the, that's age, the age 18 above. And it should be, <laughs> to be honest. I've seen that game. Yeah. And despite it looking cartoony, it is not cartoony. Yeah, but other than that, what game have you played? That's what I'm thinking. About. That is think... like the fastest game. So I'm just sorry, guys. I'm just reading this this um, Be Happy View um, review from Parent, and obviously this website got parents set and kids set, and then some <laughs> someone said, "Perfect for my 14 years old." and then and then although this guy well this this lady said it this uh, the title um including drinking drug smoking (laughs) don't worry about it perfect for (laughs) and then here the other person said yeah perfect for was not perfect for but like ten years old. My ten years old play and and mm. scare and get got scared and worry about anything about anything in game. Totally a, 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 a approachable for you know people <laughs> to to play this. Well, that is parents' view. <laughs> we were talking about that last year in last week's uh, podcast as well. So I might just check that yeah. out. Yeah, my about. my. Mine. <laughs> just um... crazy. Uh, I've got a game for you, Sanos. I've looked at my list. Yep. Um, of games and until dawn it was actually I completed it pretty quickly, and I mean like the like the good because I obviously get multiple endings and stuff as the well. Good ending. But I completed it pretty quickly, and I was in a good position to go back, and only had to like do one or two choices to get all the other endings. Just because in a good position, when I play for it. So, so I because everyone here play until dawn, right? Yeah, yeah. correct. They, they finished it. Just wondering, your first run through, like the first time you play, did did anyone die? Um, yes. No. No. Everyone survived, them, mine. So Santos. So, so say that again. No, no, no. Not everyone died. I think um, two people died in my one. Do you remember who? Um, two girls. Okay, <laughs> Jess and Jess nearly died on mine. She was useless. Is it Jess? Like My times. one is Jess. The Jess is yes. one, it, not played by Adam Panettiere, but the other blonde one. The, the, the oh yeah, one. yeah. Um, <laughs> Jess, uh, yeah. The Wendigo destroyed her. 
Yeah, that's <laughs> one. That, like, she got attacked. She got attacked, and I saved her. I didn't. My one was that I went. I walked the wrong way. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah damn. <laughs> you left her. You, were, you ran through the sound. That's like the worst. Definitely. There was a choice like between choice going right. to the voice or going straight forward. I went to the voice. <laughs> I was, I was like, oh, I, don't, I, I wasn't feeling it, <laughs> so I didn't went through. That, but I got that was back. halfway through. I remembered saying that. Um, I, I remember one of the speeches from the beginning, which was uh, a Wendigo can imitate voices. That's when I was like, oh god, I think I might have just chosen the wrong, <laughs> wrong side. I am out of it, Ashley. She gets the trap door and you open the trap door. Oh yeah, that's oh, it, yeah, Ashley. Yeah, 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 that that was... Okay then, I, okay then, I might have had three people die of my one then. <laughs> oh wow. Did you did you quit Emily as well? Yeah, I killed Emily, yeah, because uh, I thought she was going to die. She's quite annoying. I to thought be, she was going to die. She's tough. Yeah. 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 But to be fair though, she is an annoying character. Like, my first thought was, do I shoot her or do I not? <laughs> and I wanted to shoot her so bad, but I thought, well, no, then she's definitely going to die. So <laughs> I chose again. She does redeem I, herself. No, 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 sorry. I had four people die in my one. Sorry. <laughs> how many t- total? Sorry, how many I people um, so You know so Matt? Yeah. You know Matt? Yeah, yeah. Like the jock, like when he falls down that bit. Yeah, I couldn't save him on that one. <laughs> oh. So I only ended up being Hayden Panettiere character. She got away. Yeah, is that uh, the glass? Uh, uh, there was one with the glasses, wasn't there? The tall glasses guy. Oh yeah, yeah, it's that Chris. guy. Eight, eight yeah, Chris. yeah, he ran. He got away, and uh, the other guy, the other main guy. Other well, there was only there was the only last three left. Mike. <laughs> oh, seven of them. Mike, Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the one. Did then want to play the second one? Not the second one, but like. What's the second? Yeah. It's the VR. Yeah. Oh, I played the VR one, but it's, one, just a, it's on, on Rails thing. Not it? the VR one, the, the one in the boat, or like in the sea or something, that one. Oh, um... Road not obviously not second, no. but like... The same company making it. Yeah. Is it called the Meridian or something? I can't remember. I can't remember that one. It's, it's... We haven't played it, I don't think, but it's, um... What, Meridian 59? No. No, no. Oh, what was it called? That, um, I think I, I, I literally maiden or something. something. Maiden, maiden of maiden something. something. Maiden or something. That's or something of maiden. Maiden, maiden of something. I think of something, but I can't yeah, remember the what is something. Yeah, one of my, um, funny it's basically in Till Dawn it? ghost ship version. So I have to look into that. It's, it's, it's really, really good. I mean, I, I haven't played it, but... Um... Man of Maiden. Yeah. Or oh, Maiden. I don't know how you pronounce it. It's ba- it, basically, I, go- I googled Until Dawn Go Ship <laughs> version, <laughs> and it comes up. Second. <laughs> Second hit. Yeah. That's it, though. I, I was just reading here. The, the game The Impatient is a prequel to Until Dawn. Oh yeah, yeah. Because it's got the same, it's got the I'd same mythology. So it's got the same, like it's it's about the creatures in the. Well, well, I haven't played that much of it because I wanted to record it for um, the channel because mm. it's scary. It's really scary. But it, it's. Uh, no, no, I get that. It's about um, you know, there's a they talk about the mines and and like there's an old asylum in Until Dawn. It's basically that's the setting. Okay, so it's quite explicit. It's quite explicit, the same. And appara- okay, yeah. apparently, yeah, I don't, that's I don't, fine. apparently, your choices are the same sort of thing. Your choices affect your result at the end. Mm-hmm. Cool. That makes sense. No, I, I just never knew it was a, a prequel. It's a, it's a loose really, one. Surprise me. It's a, yeah, the whole thing is the link. I don't think it's a very. Apparently. Yeah, super linked prequel though. I think it's more in the same world. I think. Yeah, yeah. In, in, in the same vein. In the same vein, yeah. but it is scary though. It's really it's probably as scary as probably scarier than Until Dawn, but, but only because it's VR. So like when things pop out, they literally pop out in front of your face, and covering your eyes does not work, <laughs> so, as I have tried. <laughs> the VR is all. Huh? 
Well, yeah, I tried to cover my eyes, didn't I? <laughs> and then it, but the it thing, still pops up. But the thing is, like, the, the men of Maiden, like, now, well, they, they can two-player. They can multiple-player. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, of oh, course. Is that going to be scarier or not? You got two Could be players. online. It depends, what? though. It can be scary. It depends on who you're with. True. <laughs> Are you with Lee? Well, you'd be I mean, if, 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 Lee, if Lee, you do it with me, it could be very scary for you. Is that, so here is that you can be also got more called like uh, movie night or oh. share share mode. Share mode is like two player online, and then movie night is like can be up to five player to choose their character. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So like, two players control two different characters at any one time. Each player is seeing a completely different scene and controlling a different character, but their choices directly affect each other. Yeah. So, so not necessarily working together. So like, each person plays their own character, and however that their path intertwines with your choices, will have directly affect your game. So you'll be playing with other people, and and you think that. That'd be interesting because what their decisions might not necessarily work out to your decisions if they're trying to keep their character alive. So that'd be really interesting. I, yeah, I, I, to be honest, I think we should play. I think that's a good idea. If I don't know if they allow like online five people. It's no, it's not online. So online's only two players. Um, but only the two player. couch mode is, um, sorry, couch five. play is five people. Um, choose to play with someone else and you'll be asked which characters you each want to control up to five players ca um, can play each control one or more character then when the game switches to another character you pass the controller basically but um, there's a pre-warning play a man of meter in couch co-op at risk breaking up friendships <laughs> I think you know what I think I think someone should get it and then we can do the couch more because I, I always wanted to get man of meter but I, I was just catching up on games to be honest Go on then, Lee. Maybe I'll maybe I'll consider it. How much is it on on PSN? It's it's only forty four pound. No, I don't I don't know. I'm just it's quite a lot. I just <laughs> randomly said it. No, it's twenty pound. Ah, that's not bad. Okay, yeah. could be worse. Could be a lot worse. Maybe I'll consider be, that. So then when we finally come out of lockdown, um, Man of Medium will be finally downloaded, and then we can play it. Yeah. <laughs> it's so yeah, it's around twenty pound, fifteen pound, something like that. I'll consider that because I really enjoyed the first until dawn, so um, I might actually. You know out. the the little hope that you guys were talking about. A little hope. Yeah. Mind me. So, so it was, his, it was the sequel, right? So, Men of Maiden is, oh, is like yes. a. And then the, they they released another one, which is they released it, I believe, last year, um, late last year, called they told Hope. Yeah, yeah. What's the little hope like? Have you seen? I don't know. Much about that? <laughs> I just I just find out all this stuff. No, no, it got delayed. But, it, got de it got delayed. Uh, well, so it's now oh. summer. 2020, so probably not 2021 now. Damn. But Lee, you should get it. It's only 20 pounds. I'll get Man of Eden. Someone else get a little hope. <laughs> That's the deal. <laughs> That's the deal. Plus, I can only play so many horrors before my uh... <laughs> before I die of fright. <laughs> Santa has seen me play Invasion. <laughs> And that laugh says it all. <laughs> Guess what, guys? Oh. Doing it. What? Buy a man of medium. You bought it? I'm, no, I'm waiting for it to load. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> but I will. I feel like, guys, wait. You know what, what, what will be good? Um, I just think of something. Alan Wake. Oh, oh for God's sake, let's not. 
that'd be, good, this. that'd be a good remake. Um, especially that is, because okay. It's true. It's a good, it's a good game. Story. Can we all agree? Right. It's a good game. Yeah, it's a really good game. So, why can't it be remake? Or even. Oh, it's a shame. I don't. I want a remaster yeah. for Alan Wake. Hey, come on, it's so good. Like, they don't even ma- make the second one, so why would they make a remake one? <laughs> a remaster one? Well, the, well a sequel. No, they did make, make a sequel. Make a sequel. But make, like, make a continuation of story, so it's completely new, but the same the same base gameplay. Um, they didn't make a sequel. They made a the, um, the American, the American oh, Nightmare they, thing. They made American Nightmare, yeah. didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but a new one called Second is more like a... One and a half. I don't know. 1.5? What you mean is it's more like a DLC. It's like yeah. a long version of DLC. Right. Yeah. Oh, I'd just like to say, um, if you're hearing this, Alan and you know who you are, it's <laughs> real. Alan Wake is real. real. <laughs> and, and that's true, and it's, and it's based on a, a real lake. In I think it's North America. Oh, so it, it's it's the truth. I don't know yet. It's real. <laughs> I don't want to leave that it. there. <laughs> so, <laughs> people are probably thinking, "What the hell's going on?" But uh, we reached a fifty-minute mark. I'm gonna leave that there. Just remember, guys, Alan Wake's a true story. Remember to keep updated on Facebook and Twitter. Um, give us a like, subscribe, if you subscribe, get the bell to get over the upcoming videos. Keep up to date on Facebook and Twitter. Um, and hopefully you'll see when I finally downloaded Man of Medan. <laughs> and we'll be scaring myself silly. So, goodbye guys. See you next time. See you later. I don't see you guys. <laughs>